What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Today is a good day. I have got uh, Triplet Beat, the new set that's come out. I've actually got two boxes. Uh, these two boxes are actually courtesy of Russell. He is a viewer who has kindly provided me with these two boxes. So one will be for him, one will be for myself. And he said it's actually cheaper than buying one box locally. Uh, so everybody wins, basically. Um, I wish him luck. He said he wants the second box, so I'm going to go with this one first. Second one is underneath. I hope we both do well. That's 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 the dream, right? Because, uh, yes, I'm a little bit nervous opening boxes for other people. I've only ever done it once before for Russell as well. So I hope that it, I hope that it goes well. I'm a little bit a little bit nervous. All right, so <clears throat> triplet beat. I kept calling it triple beat. Oh, that's what I thought it was called because I didn't read very carefully the name of the set. All right. Um, but anyway, let's get into it because I've got two boxes to open in this video. Just wish both of us luck, please. I don't want it to go horribly skewed one way or the other. I want to keep it nice and even. All right. First pack, what do we got? We got a complete evolution line already in the first pack. Oh, we got gets this. All right, nice. He's very flamboyantly dressed as, as he is. There is a, uh, a full art of him, but there's also a, uh, what do we call it? A special art rare version of it, so. Not a bad one to get, but the Dendra card is so expensive. It's ridiculous. So I don't know what's going on. They've obviously decided this card will be the expensive one in the set. And it's already over 100,000 yen uh, on, the, on the launch day. It's, it's actually ridiculous. I don't know who's deciding these prices. But um, yes, it's ridiculously overpriced. All right. We got the Tinkaton. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on recently with these um, these recent sets. Seems a bit obscene that there's cards that are that expensive in there. But, um, oh well. It's good if you, if you get them, I guess. So, yes. We'll see. <laughs> oh, nice. We got two Taurus in one pack as well. So, I... Um, I'm also going to have my knowledge tested of the, the new Pokemon because I haven't really played the game that much since it came out. So, uh, yes, let's see how we go. I got a bit of a cheat sheet here. So this is the Dendra. This is the, the full art you want to get. All right, what do we got? The Dene EX. Nice. I'm going to have to have a look what he actually does. But, very sparkly. So I was having a bit of a read and it sounds like it's, um, it sounds like it's okay. I don't know if there's been like a, a really crazily good terrestrialized Pokemon yet uh, in terms of the card, but what has it got? Tail Swap. Moves all damage counts from one of your bench Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying to deal with, but only 170 HP. And he's got one to shot, 170, and discard one energy from the Pokemon. Seems pretty interesting. But again, not, not super big HP. Uh, but interesting nonetheless. I don't know, you know, what's going to happen uh, going forward, you know, with the set, what people are going to use and what people are not going to use, but seems interesting at least to start off with. Oh, all right. And straight into the next pack. So I actually have no idea what this one does. So, um, and I, ah, uh, Clodsire, that's what it is. Not Quagsire, Clodsire. So it's got Poison Marshland. Once during your turn, if a stadium is in play, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poison. Okay, that's pretty good. And then needle bones for 200 flip a coin if tails this pokemon can't attack during your next turn okay so that's not so good the uh the extra part but 
free poison if there's a stadium in play. It's pretty good. We like that. That's weird that we got two in a row. Rare to be seen yet. Seems like Magikarp is definitely the one you want to get. It seems like it's really expensive <laughs> compared to the other ones. Alright, so... Ooh, I like that. Alright, we got the ball. The great ball. So we've seen all the starters in their regular card form so far, but... There is obviously art rares of all of them. We got the Lesson Stadium. So stage one Pokemon do 10 extra damage. Okay, interesting. <laughs> when, when I evolved into him in the game for the first time, I was like, what is that thing? I was shocked. Ooh, all right, nice. Nice, all right, I'll take this one. For sure, Fue Coco. nice. Look at him chowing down on that apple in the store. All right, I'm happy with that one. That's a good one to get. Trying to think which would be my ideal three for this box. Definitely a Magic Cup. I want to get Magic Cup, but if it's a little bit expensive now, it will definitely go down in price for sure. It will go down. But uh, for now, it's a little bit pricey. Bowl Town. Okay. Can look for a basic Pokemon. Put it into your bench i think that's what it says i'm gonna read that more closely later but just for now because i got two boxes i want to kind of get through it we will analyze more as we hopefully get to open more of this set going forward i don't know how it's gonna go all right super energy recycler or whatever it's called that is a kind of a classic card getting reprinted Right, we got a bird. Now, what else has this side of the box got for us? Right, something shiny in this pack. Hollow? Just hollow? It is. It's Hariyama. So we got three, three hollows, three hits so far. Seems about right for one half. Ooh, luminous energy. What does this do? Provides any type of energy. Alright, I have to I'm gonna have to read that closely. Oh, alright, I think we've got something in this pack. Alright, what is this? Skelly dirt. Just probably not the one we wanted to get. Those actually look pretty cool, though. But yeah, that's not such a, a good one, I don't think. Looks cool, but um, he's got his interesting attack. 270 for two damage, uh, for two energy, but minus 10 for every uh, 10 damage he has on him. So, interesting. But we got the, the evolution line. Unfortunately, not the uh, the crazy special art version. All right, we will carry on though because we still got lots of good stuff to come out of this box. Art, rares, etc. Ooh, I like this Taurus. All right, yeah. Next one, we got another jet energy. What does this do? Let's say you can switch. Put it onto a bench Pokemon, you can switch it into play. That's pretty cool. Alright, anything else in this half of the box? Got Oranguru looking menacing. Chilling there. Okay. I want to speed this box up a little bit because we still got another whole one to open. Seviper. I'm hoping that uh, we, I really want to get the Magic Cup. If we get Magic Cup, it's all good. 
Let's get the car. But we still should have a few more hits to go because we don't have so much stuff out of this box yet. Clavel or Clive. I don't know. I can't tell. Alright. Next one. Alright. Why do you tease us, Dendra? Go away. Alright, what's this? Alright. Got the, uh, whenever I see this guy in the game, it always, is it me? Or does it look like it's a person standing there? Just the way it's walking around. I'm always thinking it's a, a trainer or something standing there in the, uh, the background, but it's just a strange bug Pokemon. All right, we're getting quite a lot of these starters. Ooh, Lycanroc. That is a sick artwork, I have to say. That looks really cool. The attack is interesting. So it does 140 and then it says on the next turn, if you get damaged, you put 10 damage counters. So meaning 100 damage on your opponent's Pokemon, which seems pretty good. I don't know. It seems pretty decent. I like it. Feels like it would be very annoying. You have to keep playing around it, you know, like... You don't want to hit into it because it will kind of hit you back. Now we've got the jet energy. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm almost knocking over a giant pile of cards next to me. All right. We got another Skelly Dirge EX. Get the point. All right. Yes, I chose him in the game. <laughs> All right. I will... Hopefully, we still have a couple more art reds to get. We should have three. Feels like they're kind of few and far between so far. There we go. Oh, no. Middle stage. Duck. I actually don't even know what he's called. I have had no interaction with him in the game at all. He's... Checking his dome in the mirror. That would be interesting if we got all three of the starters, though. He's got a big old head on him when he gets uh, into that second stage. It's the awkward the awkward phase, right? Between the small and the big size. Okay. Got a few more to go. I'm still holding out hope for a potential double hit box, but... Uh, has been a long time. I feel like I haven't had one in ages. So today would be a good time to turn that around. Ooh, all right. We did almost get all of the starters. Look at that. That's pretty good. We got just, just the duck. Had to ruin it. They do look nice. I think that as far as the, the art rares to, to get, they seem like pretty good ones to get. But Magikarp is definitely... The one I would like to get the most. It's my uh, preferred one. Alright, anything in this pack? Alright, this guy... What is his name? I was reading it and I'm like, how do how do I pronounce this? It's, uh, let me, let me bring it up so I can read it out. Because I'm scared to say it wrong. <laughs> Quaquavel? Quaquavel? I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Quaquavel? Anyway, he's got Exciting Samba for 60 damage for one water energy. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Then your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. And then Corkscrew Shot. Put two energy from this Pokemon back into your hand. Seems okay, but um, probably not anything super good. I don't know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't make those kind of calls because... You never know. Some stuff just turns out to be pretty good later on down the line, but doesn't seem like particularly exciting at this stage. All right. So, do we have anything else in this box? The dragon, hollow. All right. We're gonna need to move some cards out of the way in just a moment. Still holding out hope for the double hit box. Come on. Please. Hope is kind of starting to, to fade a little bit. High roar. Five more packs. Come on. Let's go.
Still a chance. Still alive. It's Gyarados. That's not what I want. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, to rearrange myself a little bit. I always sit in like a weird, awkward position when I start filming, and then halfway through the video, I just realized that was not a good idea. Deli bird. Alright, we got a great ball. I'm kind of plowing through the last three packs. I'm not expecting ugh, I'm not expecting anything else to come out of this box, but range of things have happened. We can dream. We can hope. Maybe one more sneaky card in there somewhere. Nope, that's Tauros. Maybe one more sneaky, sneaky little hit in one of these last two packs. Alright, what are we talking here? Clavel. Alright, last one. Come on. Okay, anything in this last pack? Negatory. Alright, well, mm, not the best box, if I'm honest, but uh, the, the art rares were good, so we will take that. I'm going to put all of these cards just to the side for now. Just while we open the next box. So we did... Good with the art rares, but the SR, mm, not so good. All right, let's open this next box. Feels weird. Feels weird to be opening two in one video. But I do it. All right, we're going to smash through it. Because we're kind of probably going to see a lot of the same stuff in terms of the, the EXs. So, let's... Let's see, anyway. I need to have a better. <laughs> I got, like, packs everywhere. This is ridiculous. All right. Let's go. Box number two. All right. We're going to try. We'll try our best to go through quickly. All right. Nothing in the first one. These... Two boxes are also from like completely different shops, so I'd be interested to see how we go, because there is like a possibility that we just get exactly the same thing. I mean, there's always that possibility, even if they come from the same case, but especially when it's so random like this, you never know. I have bought two boxes from the same shop once, and they both had the same SR, so, you know, definitely can happen. That was very annoying. All right, we got gets us interesting. Starting out the same way. I think that was the first hollow that we saw, right? All right, what have we got in this one? Okay. Nothing crazy so far. Oops. Be interested to see what the first hit is. If it's the same, I'll be getting a bit worried. Jet energy. What did we get first in the other box? The Dene? The Dene EX, I think it was. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna be Dene? <laughs> is it gonna be Dene? No, it's different art rear. It's Magius. That is pretty cool looking, I have to say. That is a real nice looking card. Alright, well. You gotta be happy with that one, because that looks real good. I mean, the art rares are a great thing that they have done recently. The character rares beforehand and the art rares, because... I mean, they might as well be a full art, uh, the way they look. They look better than a lot of full arts. Um, but they are very cheap and plentiful, which is always good. So, let's have more cards like that and less ones that cost $1,000, please. What? Two packs in a row. What is this uh, box distribution? All right, we got a Whooper. <laughs> if you can see him in there. Howdy and Whooper. 
I like his Japanese name. Hooper. Hoopa. Alright, so that's good. A couple of packs there. Interesting. Not very randomized in this box. And we got the cool looking flaming Taurus. Now we've got a ball. So still no regular EXs yet. Alright, we've seen a lot of these cards already. Just notice there's a Cretini squirting water on that fountain. Now at Sableye, we didn't see that in the other box. Different hollow. Good that we get to see like a bit of variety in the, the art rares as well. That's nice. Because yes, uh, there is quite a lot. It would kind of stink if we just got the exact same ones. All right, we got eh, nothing in that pack. But nice. I already said it before, but nice artworks. All of these cards, really nice looking. With the exception of some of the regular EXs and stuff. They're not, you know, so inspiring looking or anything. But all the uh, the regular cards, really nice. Ooh, I can That card is really off-center. Am I crazy? That whole pack, actually. All right, we got Lycan Rock. First EX. Nice. That is probably the coolest looking one, just the regular artwork, I have to say. Looks quite menacing, just popping out of the, the card like that. Okay. Anything else on this side of the box? Ugh. I did not see that coming. Hmm. Not probably the best. He does look pretty adorable, but uh, I hope that there's another hit in this box, Russell, because, well, I mean, we both, <laughs> we both did about as well as each other, so I guess, I guess we can't complain with that, but uh, there is, there is still a chance. There is still a lot of packs to go, so let's see what else we can get. Maybe we can spike a double hitbox finally. Okay, Doug Trio there. <laughs> I kind of like I kind of like that full art actually. It's kind of cool looking, but I obviously this is the thing. Like you can buy these boxes, especially like if you are not in Japan, people are paying a lot for them. Like triple the price that I'm paying for them here. And you get that card. That's why it's totally not worth it. Like it's crazy to um to me. Like for me, I feel like if I pay the, the Japanese price for the box and I just get like that card I'd be like ah, that was not a good deal so I mm, I don't want to say that you shouldn't buy it from overseas but actually there's something shiny in this pack as well hold on hold on ah it's a Dene oh you tease me oh I saw the textured edge and I was like hang on a minute the Dene alright well that is the same as well yeah, I don't want to say that you shouldn't buy it overseas. It's just, like, you're better off just to buy the singles, you know, for sure. Yeah, I, I understand. What is going on? That there is, like, the potential to get... What the heck is going on with this pack? I understand that there's the potential to, to get, like, a really expensive card. And I get it. I want to try and... Wait a minute. One. Yes. I want to try and get it too, but if you're paying, like, that's a big gamble every single time. You know what I mean? So. Ooh, Skelly Dirge. All right, we've seen you already. Who didn't we see? I feel like we've kind of seen most of the same stuff so far in terms of the EXs. Who are we missing? Meow, Meow, Scaranda. Oh, man. I'm so bad at the new names. I just know the one. I just know Skelly Dirge because that's the one that I chose in the game, so. I haven't really been playing Scarlet and Violet that much. Like, I played through the main story and then it's been like a couple, well, a couple of months. I've been quite busy. I haven't 
really had a chance to play it that much. And, um, yeah, my knowledge is definitely lacking. I will not pretend that I know all of the names because I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm still struggling with, like, some other <laughs> generations as well. So give me some time. All right. We still have a fair chunk left. I'm still feeling confident. Let's get something else. Definitely have at least one more art rare to come. I, I'm holding out hope for a double SR box. That's not it. That is a fly kicking insect. He's not kicking a fly, but he's doing a fly kick, if you know what I mean. All right, next one. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, man. They're trying to rub it in now. We're getting the same, all the same EXs so far. Nice. At least we got different art rares and a different full art. Like, that would be kind of sad if we got the same full art. Kind of a bummer. But, um, I guess it would be nice and even. But, yes, it would be a bit, bit of a bummer. Gyarados. All right. Anything else in this box? Hello. We should still have a couple more hits to go. I'm still feeling confident that we can get something else good. I want to see a Magikarp. I really want to see a Magikarp. Magikarp is the one that I want to get. This is Russell's box, but I want to see it. I want him to get it because it looks super cool. It's like... Um, it's the same artist that did the Giratina one, right? And it's like the same style, like really crazy trippy style. Ah, Pyro, it's a nice one. I'm getting Lion King vibes. And then the, the thing is, there's also a Tauros one where they're stampeding, which kind of gives also Lion King vibes for a different reason. Nice looking card. Nice to see six different art rares as well. I'm happy with that. But no magic up. Where's the carp? I want the carp. Alright, what do we got? Still still hope. There's still hope. That's all I'll say. Could still potentially get another SR or a Corio. It feels like it's been a long, long, long time since I have got a double hit box. So, you know, if there's ever a time, now would be a nice time for it to appear. Yeah. Almost there. Maybe one one more hit. I feel like maybe one more EX. Oops. Alright, well I can see a glimpse of a hollow back there. Hmm, interesting. Two gets us in the same box. Interesting. We only got one. As far as doubles go, that is a nice one to get. I really like this Taurus, the flaming one. Super cool looking. All right, we're down to the last three. I'm not feeling so as confident <laughs> as I was. I was feeling good, not feeling as good now, but still a chance. While we got packs, we still got a chance. All right, that's one less <laughs> chance, but all right, let's go. Come on. All right. Last pack magic. Luminous energy. All right. Last pack magic. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Is there anything in this one? Please? Uh, well, we tried our best, Russell. I'm sorry that we couldn't get a crazy pull for you, but you got your nice uh, four EXs. I I don't know what's your feeling on Claude Sire, but um, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty derpy and cute. I'll give him that. And you got three nice art rares. So, oh, you got the full evolution line as well. Look at that. So... My pick, mm, I like I like both of these ones, actually. I don't know. Who do you think did better? 
That is pretty, like, pretty on par, to be honest. We both pretty much got the same stuff. Just depending on uh, which full art you like better. So, it, mm, we, we didn't do, we didn't do the best today. Apologies, Russell. I'm sorry about that. I wish we could have uh, pulled something a bit more crazy for you, but anyway, we tried our best. Let me know what you think of the new set, guys. I'm going to try and get more. I really don't know how easy it's going to be to get with the Dendra being like 140,000 yen when I saw it in the shop when I picked up uh, one of my boxes today. And um, the special art rares of the Pokemon, the starters ranging from like 400 to 100 depending on which one it is so yeah we gotta pull them i think we're not gonna buy any of those cards anytime soon but we'll see if we can get small boxes let me know what you think anyway guys check out the channel for more videos please leave a like comment and subscribe thanks to russell please say thank you russell in the comments thank you russell for buying these boxes and we will see you in the next one take it easy